new segment. Um, I'm being chased by wolves, I believe. Hounds. So that's how we ended. So I decided to do a new segment the same day so I can uh, not get murdered. I'm going to turn my mic down a little bit. Er, that's a little bit. Alright. Come here, puppies. Stop fucking with Jester! No! They fucked him up. Oh, man. Do I have, like, a hand bat? There we go. Die, bitch. Die. That's disappointing. He killed Chester. Oh, well, he'll, he'll be back. I got some blue gems. I'm not really worried about this stuff being on the ground, because none of it's, like, super flammable. See how, like, none of these tooth traps have, are gone? This can be taxing to just, uh, be resetting this every time. That's the only problem with this method, is one, it takes a while to build up to, and two, like, resetting it can be annoying. But, it's very effective. I can eat this. All this. And we don't even have that big a field. It seems probably like we do, but we don't. Alright, um, I guess winter's over. That was a shame. I was gonna go get, um, see if I could go get a tam shanter the next day. Winter, but I guess it's over. I could actually probably go right now. What do I have on me? This hand bat's getting a little old. I think, uh, I think this'll do better. And I can ditch this nightmare fuel. And I don't need this right now. I don't need this right now. I just need to make a little bit of room. That's enough room. Whoops. Um, and I don't want to just leave this shit on the ground. <laughs> or that I can leave all that on the ground. Don't give a shit. All right. Um, shh, don't have any health items. I could get my crown. I do have my crown. All right, crown is not good to use with log armor because it's going to take a lot of damage unnecessarily. Let's see if these hunting parties are still around. Hopefully they are. No, they've cleared out. That's a shame. All right, so if I use this wormhole again, he's going to be getting at me. Thought I might have had a day left. It's okay, I don't need the Tamo Shanter. It would have just been nice to have. And I can add this in here. Let's examine this. I think it's sleeping. Those are the ones from last time. They've uh, teleported together, they tele stack. That's why it's good to basically leave them. It's actually far quicker if you're concerned about time to just log off and log back on. And they'll all, everything will tele stack. But we don't really care about that right now. Like that rot. That's a bunch of rot. We got a bunch of green gems. That's good. A bunch of red gems. We don't have enough blue gems yet to make snow chester. Because we haven't been getting a lot of them. I'll leave Chester's eye bone right here. And I have tons of jerky to eat. I'm getting a little full over here. Let's put this with our Thulocyte stuff. And our Thulocyte crown. Um, and this, this is our new MLG armor. And... This, the good thing about this, is it's going to give us sanity. So it's basically canceling out this sanity gain right now. And now we have bonus sanity. Um, so we're gaining sanity even at night. And it doesn't decay over time like everything else. So that's what's good about that suit. It's like the scale mill is going to do the same thing. 
It's going to give you bonus sanity without decaying over time. Um, the scale mail is not a good thing to walk around in. Um, because if you get hit, you light things on fire. So, like, say you're just walking around your base, and then something like a hound comes and hits you and gets lit on fire, and then walks around your base while on fire and lights everything on fire. That can happen. Can happen. Has happened. Like, try and avoid that happening. <laughs> I don't need my moggles right now. And I don't need this. But I do need another chest at some point, because I'm running low on space. So, hmm. Actually, I need more fuel, evidently. So we're just going to wear this around to gain sanity now. If we had the Tamo Shanter, we could be gaining a ton of sanity. There's some stuff that'll make you gain more sanity, but this is pretty good. And we're about to make a really cool farm, too. And I can fill this with that. And I guess I have my moggles. I don't know what they're at. Yeah. So fill those. If I have enough to make the farm. I don't know if I do. I don't need this hat. And I don't need this armor now. Because I have way better armor. We'll store some extra stuff, like the puffy and breezy vest in here. Those are like backups. Alright, I have a regal shovel right here. Only with four. I have this axe I'm going to use up. A luxury axe I'm going to use up. And I need to make a backpack. Which means... Do I? I need to cut grass. All right, I have some grass. So just working on some stuff over here. I was gonna go with the Tamil Shanter. Like I said, not winter anymore. Too late. I gotta build, rebuild that uh, beehive, which means I need wood. Which means I need to go get wood. So we're going to work on some base stuff, then I'm going to make a farm. It's going to be like a triple farm. It's not the most efficient thing you can make, either, but... Um, it's going to be an easy thing to make with the Hound and the Shootiest, and I want to use it so you can see what it's about. Alright, now that our sanity is in good standing and going up, we don't need to waste any of this jerky when it's going to last forever. So what I want to do is use the monster meat and berries now. I can take these and I'm going to cook some of them. Restore the sanity! Restore the spoilage! Hello, good sir. I can't cook. What am I doing? Um, I don't even have enough ice to make multiple. Actually, no. I want to save this for if I need it. Because it's not winter anymore. Actually, let's go harvest some ice right now. Ice is going to be really good because... I'm going to build some flingomatics in this farm, and I want to make sure I have enough ice. I have no inventory space right now. Let's use Chester for some emergency storage, in case Moose Goose happens upon us or something. And I don't need these axes right now, or shovels. Yeah, it's spring now, so I'm going to be dealing with a bunch of rain. 
I'm gonna use the umbrella for right now, but I can obviously use my eyebrella too, which I will be using. I'm gonna harvest this ice, because it's here. What are you doing here? It would have been good to do during winter, but I was busy in winter. Once our sanity is a little higher, we won't even need the umbrella because we're just going to wear the thulocyte suit around to increase our sanity. We can switch the umbrella, But I'm going to be go shoveling, so I'm going to switch to it right now, actually. Do I? I have an umbrella right? Yeah, I <laughs> like If I, like, lost that somewhere, that would be really bad. Alright. Now I need to go with this stuff. So let's take him. Let's deposit that. Let's deposit this. And we're gonna head out. And I don't need mm, this. I can go in here. I will need those. So we're saying he's still going up during the day. I believe it's three per minute or something. I don't know what it is. 3.3 .3 per minute. Pretty good standing rise. You can get up to like 10 per minute. If you do this with the Tam O'Shanter, and I think that's what that is. Alright. Won't need any of this stuff right now. We'll need these axes. We'll start by chopping these trees so they don't shiver on us and go to the first one in the cycle. And this I'll just chop. And we're gonna replant these because I'm gonna try uh, and make a bunch of chests and stuff at some point so we can have more chests. So we're, we're not really losing sanity, even though it's like a down arrow. We are technically losing sanity, but we're losing such a small amount of sanity right now, and it's like, doesn't even matter. And uh, I gotta pick it up. I think I'll do my farm right here. No. Maybe a little closer. What am I going to do with it? I think it'll be a little closer. This is one that can be really close to my base. I don't think I'm putting it in. Yeah. No. I don't want to. I don't want You don't want to put farms that have anything flammable in it close enough to your base where they'll be loaded during summer. You want to make it so something like this I'll be usable during summer because there's going to be fling as part of it. It's not a fire farm, if that's what you're thinking. It's going to use fire, though, but not, like, in a fire farm kind of way. I'll make a fire farm eventually, but I'm not making one right now. They're very easy to make. I could literally make one. I don't have enough grass to make one, so I'll save up on grass for a little bit, and then we can eventually make a fire farm. It'll be more like advanced stuff, advanced skills, which we're going to get into pretty soon. I don't even know what intermediate skills is supposed to freaking mean because at this point we're basically doing some pretty advanced stuff compared to how advanced this game gets. And hopefully we can get the scale mail. The scale mail is going to make fire farming like wonderful. We can do it now, we can fire farm, but it's just annoying because there's a couple things we can't do with it. Like we can't do a fire farm where we're an active participant because we'll have a problem being lit on fire. Once we get the scale mill, we can make like a fire farm where we'll be able to kill the pigs, which will spawn Krampus, and we can farm Krampus. Get that Krampus sack.
Oh, and I could do some. I could do that. I could do this. I'm not. Uh, yeah. So there's a better way to farm trees than what I'm doing right now. It's a little bit faster. It involves stacking a bunch of pine cones. Not stacking, like putting a bunch, dropping a bunch of singular pine cones, and lighting them on fire and extinguishing them. And when you load the game back up, they'll all be planted. I'm not going to do that. One of the reasons I'm not going to do, do it is because it involves an exploit, and I'm not doing exploits in this playthrough. Or at least right now. I don't know. Maybe I'll do it later. The only reason I'd be doing it is to demonstrate it, because it's I don't play like that. I don't use exploits usually, not that they're bad. I don't want to get into like a whole discussion on like if exploits are bad, but I it's not intended. You're not intended to do it, and I don't see why I would ever need to, because this is already fast enough to get me enough wood. And another thing is Alright. Another thing is, like, when I do that specific exploit, I need a controller, which means I need to go out of the exit out of the game, plug my controller in, load up the game, and then use a controller to do the exploit, and that's a lot of work. It's probably about the same amount of time if I just plant these, depending on how many stacks I'm doing, because you can do this with a lot of stacks at once. So you can essentially just um, drop like four or five stacks of 40. Singular. Light them all on fire, extinguish them all. They'll all be planted on top of each other, so you have like 30 trees planted on top of each other. I mean, 30 by 30, I meant like 120. And then they'll all grow to full. This works just as well. And then you do the same thing with that. You just stomp them with the old bell to harvest all of them. And then you sit there with a the shovel for like five minutes and dig. But I'm not going to do that. Because I don't want to use an exploit right now. I don't. That's not the game I'm playing right now. I will use exploits. I'm not against using exploits in games. But there's just some 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 games I'd make my own rules of when and where I use exploits. And just in a normal run in any game, I typically won't. Especially if I'm like demonstrating how to play. I'm making a video right now, if you're interested, that will show how to do it. But that'll get done whenever I feel like doing it. And I'm really busy right now, so that's probably never... <laughs> not in the foreseeable future. It'll get done, though. Sometime this week, maybe, I will finish it. What's up, beautiful? Thanks for doing this, buddy. Hey, fuck off a of Chester. I ain't doing anything to you. Oh, see, so, like, one thing, um, people like to do is they like to find where you have farms, where you're, like, busy doing stuff, and then they like to just, like, fucking ruin it by standing over it. So, it's a little late for this, but I could potentially... Enclose, you want to enclose some of your farms. And close all the beefalo too. In a 
pen if you can. Oh, I'm starving. That's right. Whoops. No, I'm not. Slowly using these tools till, till I only have one of each. Let's drag you. There you go, buddy. You can sit right here. Them's my fighting armor. Alright, now I need, I think, like three boards. And I'll need some bees. There's a lightning rod. I need the honeycomb and some bees. Tonight, I can go shave a bunch of beefalo for wool, so I don't have to... I'm kind of... I guess I'm cold. Um, I'm gonna need... this. I'm gonna need more of these. I don't need more sticks for more of those. Those should re be regrowing pretty soon. Same management like game is like basically a joke. <laughs> Once you get like Tamoshant a Tamoshanter and then like anything else, like a Thulosite suit or a scale mail or, or you're playing Maxwell ever. It's so easy to get sanity. It's one of the reasons I don't think Willow's sanity management, like incredible sanity management, is really that great, because, like, everyone has good sanity management. Just don't suck at the game. I wonder if this is even an acceptable recipe for meatballs. do this right now. Yes, it is. Oh, I need sticks for that. Okay. Need sticks for a lot of stuff, I guess. So this farm's gonna wait a little bit until I can get these. Cause this, I'm gonna make a farm for rabbits with the houndius. Not that dark. Don't be a spaz about it. This will be helpful. And I guess I'll need this, because these people are in heat. So that was the sound of the muscus spawning. That's the sound he makes when he comes into the world. I don't know if he's near my base. So, I'm gonna wear this. You guys aren't sleeping because you're busy wrecking all these bees. You're destroying my fucking life. Ruining everything. Um, the herds just like migrate into annoying places. Because I don't know why. 
Beefalo at the worst. If you made Beefalo extinct, it wouldn't be the end of the world. Penning them up is pretty easy. I just typically don't do it because it can be a little annoying to pen them up. And when you want to go stomp them, the walls will get penned. Um, whoops. Fuck off. Get away from me. Get away from me. Get away from me. I want to continue to shave. Oh, it's so annoying. If you damage my Thulesite suit, I'm literally murdering your whole family. Okay. Good. The good news is, like, if I ever need a stinger, I have, like, a billion of them now. The bad news is, is there's no good way to kill a load of beefalo that's standing over something that I need. So I just have to wait till they decide to stop being dicks to me. Which is potentially never. I can use um, the beefalo horns to lure them away, but only a small amount at a time. I'll probably come in and murder them all. I can do that. Beefalo are pretty weak. In this late in the game, I can make some good armor and just come and tank the shit out of all of them. Unfortunately, this is going to have to wait because all the bees are killer bees, and that's not part of the recipe. So I'm going to just drop all this. I can do three, but... I'm lagging a little, so I don't... I want to be careful. I'm invincible, by the way. I really wish this guy didn't come at me because now I'm gonna have to murder him. Otherwise, I would wait for him to nest and make moslings. But since he's around my base, I'm just going to kill him.
Oh, so I guess... Wait, what? I thought... Hmm. I don't know which armor is my primary. Maybe I swapped it wrong. Because that should not have been him taking the main damage. But that was taking secondary damage. That's not good. not notice that. Okay, so I, I gotta... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know why. I was taking that damage to my thing. I thought I equipped the knight armor second, but I guess I could have equipped the crown second. If you equip the knight armor second, this should be taking the minimum damage. I have more down feathers. So like, what you can make with down feathers is you can make a luxury fan with that many. And you can also make the weather pane. The weather pane does a lot of damage, but it's really unpredictable. Because of how much, how like random the projectiles are, so. But you can see we took like almost no damage during that fight. Alright, I'm going to cut down the amount of down feathers I'm using for this. By wearing the construction amulet. So I'm going to go from 5 to 3. This is not something you need to do. I don't know why I made another rope if I was just planning on doing this. Whatever. <laughs> now I have an extra rope again. Oh god. Not entirely important to do, like I was saying, but because they'll they'll be back, the moose goose you can farm him infinitely, so it's not a non-renewable resource, and also you can actually like mess with moslings to get them to respawn moose gooses, and you can also do a couple other things to basically make moose gooses. Uh, down feathers like infinite, but I don't want to wait a whole other year for more down feathers, so I'm just using it because it's not that big a deal. Because we'll have plenty of dual site once we farm some of the ruins. this now. I ain't getting any killer bees anytime soon. Any bees. Right now, I'm going to go murder the bunny men. I need some more bunny puffs. I need more... I don't need more boards, but I could use some more boards. And mostly, I need carrots and bunny puffs. I want to make three bunny hat hutches. 
I'm going to make a farm that I'm going to make bunny hutches surrounded by walls so the bunnies can't wander off. And I'm going to put the Houndy Shooties next to it. And the Houndy Shooties is a turret that shoots at enemies, but also you're, you command it. It's allied with you. So if you attack something, it'll attack it so I can get it to attack the bunnies. They'll run away when they're damaged, but it'll kill them because they'll be inside walls and they won't be able to run. And then what I'll do is I'll put some Flingomatics near it and I'll get, make a fire staff so I can light the ha houses on fire from a range inside there and the Flingomax will immediately put them out and then more bunnies will come out and then I can do it again. That's like, it's like a junior fire farm because you're using fire to make them come out of their houses constantly and Flingomatics put that fire out but you're not using the fire to kill them. You could make a similar farm just using fire but I'm not going to do that. I need way more cut grass for that because I need to like, ba you basically will fill the farm with. So, equip this second. That's not how it should go. I don't know why this is, maybe this second. Yeah, it's, this is annoying. It's taking more for my Thule Sight Crown. Ideally, I equip that second. That should make it so it takes more damage. But I'm still I'm taking like up to two percent with my Thule. I don't know what I'm doing. Don't even bother listening to me anymore. Let's turn the video off. Also, I don't know what to do about shadow people that are just there forever. It's a mystery to me. Just to get damaged, just because I don't want it to break. Tentacle spike for free. Tentacle spikes are a great weapon. They do a good amount of damage. Their damage is constant. They don't spoil, like a ham bat. worth noting that bunny men literally don't care that I'm hammering their houses down. At all. Like a little bit. They just like leave. They leave their house when you hammer it. I find that a little weird. I feel like they should probably be hostile towards me. I'm making them homeless. But god forbid I have a little bit of meat on me. They need to get their like fucking priorities in order. Come back and kill you all, by the way. This is carrot. Give me this carrot. The easiest way to kill them is to feed one in carrot and then start a war. Um, I'm not gonna do that because I want blood. So I want to do it myself. If I if I don't kill them with my own hands, I'm gonna be disappointed. So it's a little harder to do because they'll run from me. But I'll make it work. Actually, I don't have moggles, so. so I can't really chase it very well. Alright, let's murder this one. What's up? I'm a murderer, come kill me. Maybe handbats don't trigger them. I always thought they did. Get him. Can't run for long. Where are you gonna go, bunny man? 
shitty hiding spot. Ow. Going off the cliff. That carrot is just forever there. There's no saving that carrot. Okay, I'm essentially good with this amount. I just haven't satisfied my bloodlust yet. So that takes care of those ones right there. I might as well demonstrate this. Hey, what's up, bro? Come follow me. Hey, wake the fuck up. Um, attack this one. Go get him. See? Um, are they like attacking Chester? Can they not? No, attack this guy. Attack this guy. What the fuck are they doing? Alright, so they just murdered Chester, even though I clicked on them. That makes me even angrier. Let's go follow them. I guess maybe I clicked attack on Chester first, and that's what they listened to. So... You know, doesn't matter. They're both bitches, and they will die. Jester will be back. <laughs> what am I doing? I need this. Okay. Well, anyway, you can you can start a war like that. Just don't have them murder Chester, I guess. There isn't much stuff in his inventory, so it's not like I can't get back. At least if Chester's dead, I can just run back. That's a good, that's a positive benefit to Chester being dead, is you don't have to like worry about leaving him behind. Manchester's died a lot in this run. He can't catch a break. Everything's trying to kill him. Once he becomes Snowchester, I'm going to be way more protective of him. I thought these guys were supposed to like find rocky biomes. 
I guess they're just gonna overpopulate my world and destroy it. There's really no nothing I can do at this point. Get wrecked. I read that that was fixed, but I guess it's not. Okay, cool dude. Keep barking. Alright. This crown's taking a beating. Strictly speaking, it should have lasted for like 10 times this much damage. So I was at all playing correctly. Let's see. A little bit of beef loafer. And we'll cook these up. Real nice. I need them for some sanity. I need one of these for more sanity and more hunger. And I can pick these, but first let's put these on here. Oh, I need... I forget about that. All right, let's go make this farm. Yeah, it's nighttime. Doesn't matter to me. Okay, we're gonna put it right here. Like this. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this. Like that. Do like a three door. It's completely unnecessary. You only really need a door that's one wide for this. Five on this side ish. Five on this side ish. Move the fuck out of my way.
It's a little uneven looking, don't you think? Not a big deal, though. I'm not too worried about it, personally. Where did I put those? I had this net. I guess I put it in here for some reason. What's up? What was I thinking about? That can go in here, this can go in here. Okay. The reason we make these uh, stone is so that they don't catch on fire. Speedful just has anger problems. Strictly speaking, this is lopsided, which is annoying to me, but... If I had landscaped it first, I wouldn't be lopsided. Generally, what I do is I place the bunny things first, and then I build the walls around them. But it doesn't matter that it's lopsided at all. So, basically what we have to do to enter and exit now is not that. No, not this. We're going to punch this. Right? Oh. Like that. Alright, now we can enter. And we just gotta repair it like that. And then we can't enter. These bunnies are going nuts. They're gonna get wrecked. But they are doing God's work, because I hate these beefalo. Alright. We're gonna have to move this. Need more of that. Okay, so I need four more. I can't build four more. You'll see all about this when it's done, what I'm doing. Got away. Try to plant them on myself. I like wearing the crown around. Makes me feel cool. Makes me look legit too. But getting wet is not fun, even if I look legit.
Good enough. I forgot my shovel, damn it. Alright, anyway. What I'm doing right now is I'm placing these flingos right here. Build them close right here. It's a little close to the edge of the map. There we go. Feathers do I need of each? Any black feathers? Which I don't have on me. That's annoying. Oh, I need a lightning rod too at some point. Where is Chester? Come on. Come on, buddy. Oh, he's right there. <laughs> I feel their saplings. I need one more jet feather, which means I need to kill a blackbird. Which can easily be done. Um, I could set him on fire, but that'd kill all my stuff. Blackbird, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Ow! Damn it. Be a waste of a blow dart anyway. But I will do it. Alright. So, these bunnies will return to their home. Now. I guess they can't get past these. Maybe. Maybe they can't get past this. No, I guess they're just dumb. Doesn't matter. Well, anyway, we're going to plant this right here. About right... We can't replant this, so it's right here. Alright. And now, we'll watch this. So, I will attack him. And then I will go for it. See? Now I'm gonna repair. Repair. And repair. These guys are going to infinitely try and get back. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. Do I have, like, weapons on me? I pretty much do. I'm going to go like this and attack. And get them. Alright, I'll snipe him. And I'll attack him. When he comes, tries to come back, and I'll snipe him too. Attack him. Boom. Attack him. Alright, he's a little too far away. Now they're all stuck in there. Now, the honey shoe just recovers health over time. 
so I can go like this and just like have him spray all these guys. Like this. Alright, done. And it will kill them and drop their stuff in here. Now then what I can do now, since there's no more, and there's multiple ways to do this. I go like this, and I light these on fire. And that'll force them out. And these flingos will put them out. And then this will try and kill them. Like that. And I can turn these off to conserve fuel. And then when I want to go in and get stuff, I can go in and collect the stuff. That's only part of this farm. I'm going to plant a bunch of flowers around here. So butterflies grow, so I can kill butterflies. And I'm going to go make a bird hat. They want to kill me because of all the meat I'm holding. What dicks. But they'll never be able to get out. They'll eat the carrots. So you might want to come in every now and then to collect the carrots. That's the basics of that farm. It's pretty easy. And it gets you carrots and that. You can also do the same thing. Um. Oh, shit. Um. No! Oh! <laughs> I keep clicking on stuff. I meant to get my luxury fan out. Um. Ice, I guess. It's still a little too late for ice. I go turn on the flingo. Stop that fire from spreading. Whoops! Fire staffs are dangerous. Ugh, that's annoying. Time to fucking organize all my stuff. Well, at least I got that out, though. Alright. <laughs> this is why I built everything far away so fire wouldn't spread. Because that could have just burned my entire base down. So what I was saying, anyway, before that all happened... Now that I'm going to fix now. That's annoying. Is I make a bird hat, which attracts birds. And you go wear that, and you stand. Um, I'm just... Basically what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the backpack. And I'm just going to put all my stuff... Drop it all over here. Move all the stuff. Make some new chests. Move all the stuff back. So the only way to do. And I'll wear this. This is inventory stuff. Be separate. Alright, so... I can hammer these chests and get most of the boards back. Yeah, so if I wear that bird hat by the farm, it'll make a bunch of birds come down, and then I can kill them with the Houndian Shootius. Then I plant a bunch of flowers, and that'll make a bunch of butterflies spawn, and I can kill them with the Houndian Shootius. And I can kill the bunnies with the Houndy Shootius. So. Tomorrow night I have to go get the... What's it called? So uh, what happened was I clicked on the chest to open it. Open wet chest. But I had that in my inventory. The fire staff. Which was light on fire. So I lit it on fire, and I immediately went to click on the chest that I knew had the luxury fan to go extinguish it, but I still had the fire staff in my inventory, so I lit that on fire. Oh man, MLG. That's going to go in my highlights montage if, when, if I ever do one for this run. That's going to be right up there. Smartest thing I've ever done. But then I paused it, collected myself, and went and turned on the fling out, so... The stuff in the chest wouldn't burn. 
I'm not really worried about the stuff in this chest burning. The only thing is the beard hair is burnable. These fleshy bulbs are burnable, that stuff. Uh, but who cares? I really didn't want my luxury fan and my hibernation vest and all that to catch on fire and burn. That would have been the end of this run. I would have been, like, pissed. <laughs> so you get for being a dummy. At least we get some a little proof that my chests are far enough away. So that they don't catch on fire. They're literally just far enough. I was actually a little, like, confused as to how everything didn't burn down. There goes all my wood. Okay, so what went in here? Rock stuff. My old bills were in here. My construction amulet. My nightmare amulet. Over here was this and gems. A fleshy bulb. Nightmare fuel. I need more boards. So basically, if this had caught this on fire, that would be like a ton of saplings I just lost. But it didn't. So my clustering chest methods is tried and true. <laughs> my um, not knowing what's in my mouse one and clicking randomly method of playing the game is clearly ineffective though. So don't do that. Hey, though, what this does get you is now I get to reorganize everything and make sure everything's tip-top shape for organization. I don't know why I have a 1%. Where we went with clothes in here and this is torches and stuff. And fishing rod. My armor is going to stay my event. Actually, I'll put it in here for now. I won't need it. I won't need this. I, I can wear this. I actually needed more chests, so. Now I'm going to have to get more wood for more chests. a little, which means that this run's gonna end once I'm done being an idiot. Please skip this section. I'm just organizing. Or watch. I don't... Like... Some of, the, some of these videos are so boring. I don't know how anyone is watching these. I don't... Wa well, actually, I do watch them, but for other weird reasons. I think it's, like, nice and relaxing to go and see what I did. 
I'm that weirdo watching my own videos, like, that's so great, that guy's so good at playing Don't Starve. I wish I could be him. Oh wait, I am him. <laughs> uh... Good stand to get rid of this Dark Sword. Yeah, if my whole base lights on fire, the flingos will not put it out. The luxury fan will. So that's why I went for that immediately. And managed to light everything else on fire. Eventually we'll have more than one scales and we can make a scale chest. And the scale chest, the luxury fan will go in that. So worst comes to worst, this happens again. We can run to that chest and try and extinguish everything. Real quickity. That didn't take that long. That didn't even take a full day to get back on track. And... Extra storage. take long at all. It's not full. You're full. Open chest. <laughs> Open chest. Alright. <laughs> Breathe. Okay. I need another... I need a lightning rod for this farm, but I'm gonna just not have a lightning rod right now. Oh, shit. I don't care. I don't need an old bell. Don't need it. I don't want to go all the way there. I have three. Those can wait. You guys need to fucking chill their ass out. Alright, and this thing recovers health over time. Um, so you don't have to necessarily worry about dying. But it only has a thousand health, so things can kill it pretty fast. So you need to make sure that it doesn't die. Because if it does... If it does die, you have nothing. Like, it's not going to drop any items. Yeah, the way to do this, by the way, is to just stand here with meat. You don't even have to click to attack for bunnymen. If you just stand here with a piece of meat, they'll try and kill you. And then like that, you can just attack like that. And they'll be distracted so they won't go for the carrots. They might hide at night. That guy's gonna <laughs> try and get that meat till the end of time now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So we got more stingers, more honey. Um, I can use the houndiest and this bat to kill all those beefalo though. And now unfortunately and fortunately we're going to need to pick a bunch of cut grass and make a billion drying racks. We're going to make a bunch around here. We will like at least double what we have here. And by at least double I mean not even close. It's going to be like all the way up through here. And let's... Uh, I don't have any cut stone. So one thing I'm going to do, though, 
which is really nice, is I'm going to store a uh, flingo. So anytime I want to measure, I can just put it over it and then I'll see what it's covering. Because we don't want our base to get completely lit on fire. Cause, or our, our field to be lit on fire. Because I'm still going to use this as my base during the summer for now. So now we have free meat from those bunny men. So we can survive only on jerky. For the long haul. And that recovers like health and a bunch of sanity. And a bunch of hunger. We're officially living the high life. I just need more wood for some stuff. And hand bats are easy now. Those are all good. Ropes, twigs, and charcoal. I can go plant a field of trees to be burnt to charcoal now. I think I'll cut this segment though. We did a lot of good. One thing I need to do is I need to catch butterflies and plant them near my houndia shooties for that. And another thing I need to do is if I have the stones, I'm going to build walls around it. I basically don't want anything to like murder it. Like if a boss comes and finds it, he'll like try and murder it. But if the, there's walls around it, it'll delay that. And I'll have plenty of time to come over. Or like hounds. Obviously, I won't walk near it with hounds attacking me. But it's good. Because the bunny men can't attack it now. And no one else should attack it. Um... Beefle and Heat could attack it, and that's another reason it's going to be good for me to make sure it's surrounded by walls. I can't do flammable walls, though, so I need rocks. Which means I need to farm some. And I can literally go up here or probably down there and get all of those at some point, because I'm at that point in the game where I can just... Have a couple stacks of jerky and then go do something like that. So the next couple episodes might be a little farmy because I'm just going to be like making stuff. Until summer comes. I need to make a bunch of stuff. And I don't know if I'll, like, talk that much, I guess. Because I'm preoccupied doing all this cool stuff. <sighs> so I apologize if it gets a little dry. But it's bound to happen eventually. When you start out, everything's so new and exciting, which is great. And the game's still great, but it gets to the point when you're this far where it's it's like Minecraft. If you've ever played Minecraft, or maybe if you're more familiar with like Terraria or something, where it gets to a point where a lot of what you need to do is like get resources to make the things you want to make. Hey, what's up? I'm a murderer. Oh shit, I'm close enough where he can hit me. I gotta be careful while I'm in here, because I don't want them to respawn, and then come try and murder me. Because I'll be picking up their meat. extra pine cones after I've planted my field. We'll go towards burning for charcoal. 
I'll make a ridiculously big field of... A ridiculously big field of traps. <laughs> it's so cool. I love it. I can come stop this. They're kind of like in that in-between stage. And that might be a little close. Whatever. And I get, like, unlimited bunny puffs, too. Which you can make bunny rolls with. Just straw roll and a bunny puff. And it, it's like, restores a lot of stuff when you sleep. Let's get this back on for the sanity restoration. I'm, like, maxed out on sanity, hunger, and that, so... I'm doing pretty good for myself. I can go get these trees in the morning. I still got, um, nine uses of an old bell. It's a lot. And any meat that's going to spoil, I can go trade to the Pig King because he'll take that meat just as is. I don't even need to convert it to eggs or monster meat. And then that'll give me a lot of gold. Which is good because I'll need it pretty soon. You don't really have to leave a gap this big for this. I just choose to. So I I, I have plenty of room to leave. Alright. So like, it's important to note that he goes far when he walks. So basically, I said this before, but he's gonna like destroy this or like this. So I don't I think I don't think he'll get this. But let's hope not, because if he stomps on the Houndy Shootius, that's why I made it there, because it's perpendicular. So, this is like the no-go zone. Oh, tree guard. Beautiful. Don't care. He's not upset with us, because we're not the one who chopped the trees down. If he finds the Bigfoot, he might try and kill the Bigfoot, but I don't think he'd win that fight because that thing is freaking huge. Come back here, I can kill him. Wherever he is. Where is he? Now he'll just slowly walk towards me. Beefalo are so annoying. Slowly walk back. That's fine. 
Don't walk all the way back. Come to my base and hang out, I guess. That's alright. I'm gonna murder you. I'm not at all happy with what you're doing here. I'm gonna look stylish when I do it, too. Get away from my fucking icebox. Ow. Fuck. I burned my ice staff, which is a shame. Run, 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 run. How'd they get out? Did I not close up shop when I left last time? Well, anyway. This is how you can use it to help you with bosses. It might be a little risky to do. <laughs> Loser! Because you don't want the boss to attack it. Oh, whoops. But, it's not that risky. Man, this game's fun. I love this game. Oh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. This little baby beefalo thinks he can get away. He doesn't know that I have a freaking turret. Basically, you can command this turret like you would Abby to, like, attack things you otherwise can't reach because they run. See? And it does increase your naughtiness, if that matters to you. It shouldn't, because it's not a big deal, but it might. Some more living logs. And now you see what I mean by like food is like never going to be difficult for us again. With just this really basic farm, we can just go make meat whenever we want. Die, bitch. I win. Hm. All right. Time for some organization instead of running around and killing beefalo. As fun as it is. Still need this in my inventory. I'm not even gonna use the axe right now. Actually, I'll use it. Yeah, and put some cut grass in here. Put some twigs in here. Normally, keep them always on me, like I talked about a bunch. But I mean, at this point in the game, not a big deal. Really, just not a big deal. I'll use you in a bit. Keep that in there. Grass tufts. Where did I put those? Is that like in here? Yeah. And I got so much sanity, it's crazy, so I can just store this. Come get it later to store more sanity. Or not. Whatever. I'm gonna end it for now. 
him out. Mm. Well, more jerky. And I'm going to have another round of jerky pretty soon. I can come over here, finish cleaning up those trees. Uh, for these, I can burn these down because they're all there. Um, collect all the stuff I've laying strewn about. And I need to build this bee box. Uh, when I can find some normal bees, I can do that. I can plant another spider's den, but since I'm not really in the need of monster meat ever again, and I have so much cobweb and uh, stuff, it's really going to be pointless. So I probably won't do that. I might someday like go make a better farm, like plant more spiders, make a wall here and here, and maybe make some bunny men, because the bunny men will fight the spiders and stuff like that. But for now, I'm not going to worry about that. Alright, catch you later. Hope you had fun with this one. I had a lot of fun.